what is going on everyone welcome to your 29th MySQL tutorial and this is a tutorial that some of you have been waiting for the lesson where I finally teach you guys how to create tables now if you already played around with PHP my admin you can have probably guessed that if you want to create a table on your database just go ahead and click the database name and then you can create a table just name your table say how many columns but we're not here to learn PHP my admin my friend we are here to learn my SQL so I'm gonna teach you guys how to create a table through command line so go ahead and wherever you can type in your SQL statements the syntax to create a table is this you guys are gonna think this is totally confusing and baffling but it's actually create table amazing huh so now that we want to create a table what do we want to name it say we were making a website I don't know we'll just make like a very simple website where we can have users sign up so I'll just name this table users now after this go ahead and write parentheses now I'm gonna show you guys how I create a table and I just think it's the easiest way but each column I like to put on a new line so every time you create a new column I'm gonna put it on a new line and every time you create a column it's gonna need information about that column the first piece of information is the column name. What do you want your name or column? You want to name it ID, bid, seller ID, what is it? I'm just going to name this ID. This is going to be the primary key. Next is what type of data do you want to store in this? Well, I just want to store numbers, just regular integers. Now I don't want to talk to you guys about all the different types of data because there's like I don't know probably like 50 different types of data and a lot of them are kind of redundant so I'm just gonna tell you guys about the different types as we go along but the first type is int int and what this means is integer basically whole numbers numbers without a decimal point so now I want to create a column that's gonna hold integers and I'm gonna name it ID that's how I do that now on my next one I want to create another column for as well I'm going to create another column on this table named username where users can pick their username you should pick the new Boston because it's a pretty good one and now the type of data for this you can use text character but I like to use var char what this means is is pretty much strings or if you don't know what a string is if you're not very familiar with programming just think of it as like text so now I probably should mention this some data types okay back up even more whenever you specify that you want to create a column on your table I, I told you guys that it needs a couple pieces of information the name of the column the type of data that it's going to be storing for example integers it also needs a maximum storage size so basically how big of integers can you put in here how big of strings or how many characters of text can you put in here well every data type needs a maximum storage size some data types already have default sizes so that's why I didn't explicitly need to write how many bytes of memory or whatever we're gonna be storing in here but for varchar we need to explicitly tell it in parentheses how many characters is the maximum basically how big can a person's username be well whenever we write 30 here this means that their username can be no longer than 30 characters and again this is kinda of confusing because some data types like int they have a default maximum size so you don't need to specify it but other ones like varchar you do need to specify and in order to determine does my data type or doesn't it have a default size you can just look on the MySQL website it's probably changing all the time anyways but now we have a primary key a username and we also want a password form so go ahead and type password and this of course is just text to letters and numbers var char and I'll just give it a maximum size of 20 so their password can be no longer than 20 characters now you know how I said that every table you create should have a primary key now in this table it was obviously the ID the first one we created not the username not the password however our MySQL our database doesn't know that already it's not smart I just can't say hey this is my primary key we need to say that the primary key for this table is going to be ID now whenever we do that we need to go ahead and type on a new line well it doesn't need to be on a new line but I like to type it on a new line primary key 
Now in order to specify your primary key inside parentheses, you go ahead and write the name of the column that's the primary key in this ID. So basically to create a table, you go ahead and write create table and then you give it a table name. Now once you're done with that, you need to say what columns are going to be in your table. Now every time you make a column, you need the name of the column, which is username, the type of data that column is going to store, which is this text or varchar, and the maximum data size or the maximum storage size. So in this case it's 30 and again the reason why we don't have to use it whenever we create tables that hold floats or ints is because ints and floats and a bunch of numerical data types they already have default sizes. So now just go ahead and hit go or run your query and we now have our table. So check it out. If you go ahead and click on the left hand side users we can now browse it. So again the column name ID, username, and password. And whenever something is underlined in PHP My Admin, it means it's the primary key. Now the type of data, the ID is just going to be integers, one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. Username and password is just going to be text. And again, these are the maximum storage size. 30 characters, 20 characters, or 11 bytes, which is basically, it's, a, it's not like zero to 11, it's 11, it's a really big number. I just want to mention this. I don't know it off the top of my head, but it's a really big number. So now we got all this other stuff like attributes, null. What the heck's null? Default. What the heck is this crap? In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys some other settings that whenever you're making a table, that they're going to come in handy, such as null, auto increment, all that good stuff as well. So that is the basics of how to create a simple table. But in the next lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to create a more advanced table. So Trust me, guys, it's going to be probably the best tutorial ever. Trust me. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys then.